Today's video is brought to us by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're like most gun owners who like to repair and upgrade your own firearms, well, why not take that passion and turn it into a career? SDI is a distance learning institute and all of the materials and tools are shipped directly to your door. They have classes on ballistics, gunsmithing, armorers courses, and even drone classes. You can get your certificate or your degree and take that step now. Check out the link down below and in the pinned comment, sdi.edu. And thank you to the Sonoran Desert Institute for making today's video possible. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna give you some numbers here this morning that will probably, should I make any FFL irate, but also let other FFLs know what's going on. And I want everybody to uh, we all know in FFL, I want people to let them know uh, this is happening. Tuesday, the ATF released a report, and that report uh, showed a lot, uh, gave a big peek behind the curtain in what's been happening post Joe Biden um, and how things have changed related to FFL revocations. Now, I've done videos on this before, uh, and we were using numbers based off how many FFLs uh, were telling folks that they were revoked. Well, the ATF just released their own report on Tuesday, and some of the numbers uh, are, are really staggering. Um, so I, I made a quick notes ripping through the report the other day, and um, I'm going to uh, give you those, and I want you to, to hear them out. So FFLs are being, have been revoked, have been, at the highest rate since 2002. That's 16 years. Uh, 92 revocations occurred in 2022, and the year is not even over. 92 revocations. Uh, I'll tell you how many inspections were done in a minute, but I want to get these stats to you so you can think about this. Those 92 revocations are, I don't know, one, a little over 1% of the amount of dealers that were inspected in 2022, FFL dealers. Uh, that number, the 92 tripled the amount that were revoked in 2021 with the same number of inspections that took place. Okay, so in one year, they tripled the amount of revocations uh, of FFLs. And I'll tell you what's changed in a minute. There were 136 dealers that received warning conferences, which is like the biggest slap on the wrist an FFL can get for making uh, errors and it falls just short of revocation. Uh, so 136 of those happened in 2022. Excuse me, my eyes are all dry this morning. <laughs> uh, the allergies. So what's changed? Actually, before I get to what's changed, how many um, inspections were done? I told you it was like a little over 1%. Uh, well, there were just over 7,000 inspections in 2022, okay? In contrast, and the same in 21 as well. So just over 7,000 inspections. In contrast to pre-pandemic numbers, uh, they, in 2019, they did over 13,000 inspections. So about half-ish of the numbers that they typically do, yet this is the most revocations that they've done in 16 years. Now, I've, I've done videos as things have been happening to the FFL community uh, and this is all a direct response in Joe Biden putting pressure, well, his administration, he doesn't put pressure on anybody, I mean, he doesn't have much strength even to walk, but he put a lot of pressure on the FFL community by saying they're going after rogue gun dealers. And what they've done is instituted a zero, zero tolerance policy. Now, what does that mean? We've all had zero tolerance policies in our schools growing up, uh, you know, no fighting, no, no weapons in school, stuff like that. Well, the zero tolerance policy for FFLs, if they make simple errors, paperwork errors, which humans make errors, and I'm not sticking up for those who are obviously doing things criminally, but in previous, all years prior to Joe Biden getting up in the Rose Garden and saying, You're coming after rogue gun dealers, rogue gun dealers, uh, prior to him doing that, uh, an IOI, which is the agent, the, the person that does your inspections on your FFL, the IOI, 
uh, they, if you had an error that wasn't really major, they would say, hey, look, here's your error. Now fix it. The FFL would fix it. They would coach you to do it the right way. Done deal. Um, it's kind of like they worked well together, all right? Well, that doesn't happen much anymore because Joe Biden wants less gun dealers in America. So they've been revoking them at skyrocket, a skyrocketing rate. I mean, it's, it's the highest rate since 2022 in 16 years, even though they've inspected less than they have in every year that wasn't a COVID year. Uh, so it's very alarming. It's really alarming. I just wanted you all to understand what's going on behind the scenes. This is still gun control. He's trying to get rid of gun dealers and using every opportunity that he can to make that happen. You make some clerical errors, done. You're, you're going to lose your job, your livelihood. Uh, your employees lose, lose their livelihood because Joe Biden has a hair across his geriatric ass for firearms. Basically what it comes down to. So with that, uh, I've heard from a lot of FFLs. Thank you for emailing me. Uh, it's been a couple of days here without service and stuff. Uh, for obvious reasons, it was a natural disaster here. Uh, but I will stay on top of this, and I will appreciate y'all keeping me in the loop with the FFL stuff. And uh, we'll get this to the right people, and we'll see what we can do about it in the short term. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you on the next one, y'all. The Second Amendment is there for a reason, and the controllers hate us for it. <laughs> Take care.